Okay, if I were to start my real estate career all over again, there are a couple of things that I would do differently, right? And one of them is I probably would not join Sub2. And you're like, what? Kevin, you're not gonna join Sub2? Out of all the people that's gonna say, you're, you're telling me that, you're telling me that I should not join Sub2. And yes, you heard it correctly, I would not join Sub2. I mean, that's just me. And I probably wouldn't recommend anybody else to join Sub2, at least in the beginning. And, and in this video, I'll, I'll talk about it. And, and this is coming from someone that has been in Sub2 for the last three and a half years, right? And I traveled across the country with Pace. I mean, I, I mean, just in the states that I've been to, I wrote it down. I went to California, Las Vegas, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Virginia, Atlanta, Miami, Puerto Rico, New York, Utah, like I've, I've been to so many different, uh, different parts of the country traveling with Pace, just me and him alone. And there's things that people don't see behind, that goes behind the scenes. And there are things that people that see, only see on the surface. And I'm not, I'm not, and I don't have any hard feelings for Pace. I, lo I love Pace, I learned so much from him. And the things that he taught me in, in my real estate career, it just allowed me to, you know, it just, I developed overall in such a, as a good person, good business owner, right? But I do want to talk about the things that nobody else talks about because nobody has been around me, all right? So a couple of things I do want to talk about is I spent so much time with Pace just traveling. Like I mean, like I said, California, Las Vegas, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Virginia, Atlanta, Utah, New York, Puerto Rico, my, uh, my, uh, Miami. And Pace was the first one to take me to all these parts of the country. And I traveled with him on the airplane, just me and him. And we, st we stayed at the night. We stayed at the uh, hotels together. And we've done all these things. And here's the thing, is like, like when Pace takes you on all these trips, I don't, do, I don't have any time to work. Like, but does Pace just think that I have all this, all this business that's automated, that, that I can just, you know, take, take you know, three days off from my business and just do my own business, right? So, so that's one thing that I, don't, that I don't like about, you know, being in Sub2 is I, I just travel with Pace too much. It's like, I, I'm, I'm physically tired and I just can't handle it anymore sometimes, you know? Like I take Advils just to hang out with him. And I don't wanna take Advils every time I'm hanging, hanging around with people. Like, I, why can't I just have fun, right? So that's one thing that I really don't wish I went through uh, being in Sub2 for the last three and a half years. And, co and another thing is, Sub2 is too much information, right? I saw, and, and to a point, it makes me feel so bad that I'm taking a, I'm like learning all these things because it's up to there's just so many. All right, there's. I mean, I, I've learned to raise private. I, I learned to raise private capital. I bought so many deals. I bought. Um, I bought my primary residence. I bought. I now have 24 rentals in my portfolio. They, they're making you know thousand bucks each. Right? I'm, I'm you know I'm making a significant amount of chunk, and I think I'm making too much money to to a point where I feel bad for taking all this knowledge away from him. Like he he brings too much to the table. That you you know when you like go to all you can eat sushi buffet and you're like. You know what? Like I, I got my money's worth. I'm like, I now at this point, I feel bad for the restaurant because like I don't know if they made money off of me or if they did not, right? So this, so just for just the knowledge that I have, just hanging around with Pace and stuff too, it allowed me to boost my business to a point where I feel so bad. Like I, I go to bed at night because I feel so bad that I'm just taking this knowledge, like this 12 years of real estate experience that Pace has in front ahead of me and all the things that he had to go through. I just get to. Experience I, I spend a year or two just going through what took Pace 12 years. And I'm like, every night I'm like, oh my God, Pace, I feel so bad that I'm just taking all this knowledge away from you. So I'm, I'm just taking, you know, as, as a mentor, I'm just taking all these, you know, experiences that it took you 12 years and I'm, con I'm condensed into a year or two, right? So the knowledge that I learned from Pace is just, he, gives, he, he teaches me too much and it helps me too much that I feel bad, all right? So that's number one. Well, I guess that's number two. All right, here's number three as to why I would not recommend anybody to join Sub2, all right? Is that I have way too many friends. Sub2 is known for the Sub2 community. And, and the challenging part is, is I have way too many real estate friends in my career, right? And I mean, just, you just look at like last year in 2023, when, during Thanksgiving time, everybody was like, Kevin, hey, come hang out with me. Come, come spend time with me and my, with me and my family during, during your Thanksgiving because, you know, my family, we don't do Thanksgiving. So my, so my friends were like tr trying to invite me and I'm like, I have too hard time choosing which real estate friends I want to hang out with. And these are real estate friends that have goals and ambitions that, that would get me further in, the, in my career. And they're really good people. But I just have, I just, I, I already have too many decisions that I, that I have to make in my real estate career that I don't want to add another thing in my, I don't want to, I don't want to have to work, think about another thing that I have to worry about, you know, like, can I just not, can I just hang out with 
all of them. Obviously, they, they, all, they don't all live in the same area, so I can't, but all that to say, number three as to why I, sh I don't think anybody should join sub two is because you have, you have way too many friends that, that can help you out in your business. Like, oh my gosh. Everybody's like, hey, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin hang out with me and my family. I, 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 too, many, too many choices. And, and f fourth reason, maybe the final reason why I don't recommend anyone to join sub two is because I'm literally about to retire I mean, I, I'm on the path to retirement in the next 12 to 24 months, right? So right now I have uh, 25, 24 rental properties, okay? And I make close to, I mean, if after, after, all, after all, all is said and done, I, my, my portion of the deal, I bring in about, I take home about $10,000 a month, $11,000 a month. And I'm like, I feel like I had life too easy. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I have, what is it, six, six or seven million dollars in real estate and I'm 23 years old. Imagine if I bought, let's just, let's just do the math. If I bought half a million dollars in real estate every single month, which is one house a month, that's six million in real estate and I have 40, 40 more years, that's 240 and 40 million in real estate that I'll have paid off by the end of, by the time I'm 60, 63, 64, 65. And I feel like I just had life too easy because of sub two. And I, and, I don't ha and I don't have any more challenges in my life because sub two made my real estate career so much easier. So, if, so guys, if you want to make your life harder and you're like, you know what, I'm, I just want challenges after challenges after challenges in my life and I, don't, and I, and I, wanna, I wanna buy all these rentals in, 2000, in, in my career, then if, you, if that's what you're looking for, you should yeah, you de definitely join sub two, okay? And I don't know, I thought that was the last one, but here's, here's another thing. Here's another thing as to why you should not join Sub2, all right? I thought I got into Sub2 just to learn real estate, okay? And look what I'm doing right now. On a 4.32 p.m., on a Monday afternoon, I'm making a video. I thought I was gonna be a real estate investor, but Sub2, they're, they're teaching me, they're telling me, hey, you need to go create content so that you can scale out of your business so that you can grow your business so that you can do all these things outside of real estate and I'm like you know what I signed up to be a real estate investor now I'm freaking making YouTube content all right so you know I don't know why I was going with that but all right if you guys haven't noticed by now I mean today is April 1st and I had to make this video for the April Fool's video and a couple things a couple reason why I make this video number number one I want to make some I want to make some fun contents on my YouTube but number two, I do want to come here and say my appreciation to Pace because, you know, I, I met Pace when I was 19 going into my 20s. And this was me straight out of high school. I was like, I was, I, I finished high school and I was going into my community college and I was so lost. I, I, I didn't even know where I needed, where I wanted to go with my real estate career. And, and this is when, when Pace came into the picture and said, hey, you know, you know what? I'm going to take you under my wings and I'm going to show you exactly, I'm going to show you what no, no other mentors will do for you in, in, in your entire life. And needless to say, that was, that was not an overstatement, right? I mean, just, I mean, just the things that I've accomplished, right? I've made over, I, I made well over six figures in my tw early twenties because of the things that Pace taught me in the end in the sub two community. I have raised millions and millions of dollars inside of sub two community that, and I have, price six million to seven million dollars in real estate because of the sub two community and I bought every single one of them without any of my own cash credentials and money and all that. I, I am the one to testify. If you if you ever if you ever feel like hey Kevin, what whatever you, you're so full of you're so full of you 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 email me, I'll give you my personal email and you and I and I will show you what my portfolio looks like and if I bought any of them with my own cash or any of my own or did I ever have to qualify for a loan. So so, so the things that Pace teaches Pace taught me for the last three and a half years, it has worked for me and I'm and I am bringing a good chunk of cash every single month from the rental properties that I have. And but, but real estate is probably the twenty percent of the things I learned from Pace. Right when I I spend a lot of time with Pace, just traveling the traveling the country, and if there's one thing that I learned from Pace is number one is is how to be a faithful husband that he is, and and for such a he's such a big family guy, right? Like you, you see all these you know gurus that you know they're they're like all about money, 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 influence, influence, and influence. But Pace is truly a um, a family guy. Like I every every time I travel with Pace, he's talking, he's he's constantly you know talking about his family. He talks about his family all the time. FaceTimes his wife, FaceTimes his, you know, kids. 
It's like things I learned from Pace is just beyond real estate. And and people and a lot there's a lot of people that I follow and that I spend time with. When I'm, and I'm like, you are a completely different person when you when you're online versus when you're not online. And I gotta say, having having been on the road for, with with Pace for a while and seeing him. You know, sharing the hotel rooms, being in the car rides together, and having you know very one-on-one conversations with him, he is a person that you see online, and he is probably a better, even better person off the camera. I, and I'm the first, and I and I and I testify. There's not many people that have spent the time with Pace one-on-one than me, and probably 10, 20 other people. But I, I am the one to testify that he is probably a like every time he has a conversation with somebody, he make he makes that person feel like. They feel like they're the kings and queens of this world, okay? And I don't know if Pace will ever watch this video. I, I'm sure he has way better things to do than just watch this silly video that I made for April Fools. But you know what, Pace? I just want to say say thank you. The things that you taught me and and the financial freedom that I will have just in the next 12 to 24 months just by having my own rental properties that bring me you know big chunk of cash every single month, whether I work or not. Because of tenants, because of the things that you taught me, I have... I am I am very far ahead of my people my people in my age group to reach the financial freedom because of, because of you. So Pace, I wanted to say thank you so much for you and the Subtu community. And I would not even be remotely I would not even be one tenth of the way of, of where I'm at if I didn't have the Subtu community around me. I've raised millions. Of, I've raised no joke. I've raised probably millions and millions of dollars in private money. I bought millions and millions of uh, real estate. Okay, the camera just died, but. Pace, I, I want to finish off this video and I just want to say thank you for the things that you taught me and, 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 and the trajectory and the legacy that I will leave behind for my family and my future family because of the things that you taught me and especially the Subtu community. Um, you do not need to pick me when I was 20, but you, you saw something in me that maybe I didn't see in myself. And I just want to make this you know video in appreciation for all the things you've done for me. And Pace, this is just... His pace at this point, this is not even about real estate. This is about changing the lives of the people around me. And I have, and I've changed, you know, a lot of people's lives. I mean, you have changed millions of lives and I am on my way there. And I want to say thank you again. Um, sub two is not a, I don't even think sub two is a real estate community. I think it's sub two is a community of just people that wants to change the world. And real estate is one way, one way of getting there. So. Pace, I have nothing but love for you. Thank you so much for selecting me and teaching me things that I never would have thought and taking me to dinners where I don't even belong and giving me the opportunities that I didn't even think that was possible. You know, me, me I mean, I thought me moving, me coming to this country is a blessing. Me, beco me, me becoming a US citizen is another blessing. And for me to have this opportunity at 20 years old, for me to buy, I bought my first house when I was 21. And now I have 24 other rentals and all of them at Airbnb making a lot of money. All because of the things that you taught, all because of the things that you taught me and the people that you, that you bring to, into your world that you, that you openly introduce me to. No amount of words will satisfy my, will, will express my gratitude, gratitude, gratitude to you. But Pace, I love you. And if you watch, if you are, if you're actually watching this video, um, it's a little awkward because uh, <laughs> I was, it's supposed to be April Fool's and I didn't int in intend it to be this serious, but um, uh, just leave a comment. Bye. But in all seriousness, guys, um, if you are not in sub two, uh, I, I genuinely don't know why you haven't joined. And I don't say this as a clickbait, whatever, but sub two is literally the only mentorship that I've been part of for the last three and a half years. And it gave me enough where I, ne I never need to go pay for another mentorship. So guys, if you are looking to join sub two, if, and if you are not satisfied with it, I will personally, out of my own pocket, give you the money back. So if you guys are not satisfied with sub two, I, Kevin Cho, will personally give you the money back.